Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force with some more Hearthstone. Today we'll be playing the Backspace Rogue deck. Our first matchup is against a Warlock. And this is a bit of a coin flip for us. Uh, because against Zoo, well Zoo is the worst matchup. In fact, the author of the deck considers it the deck's kryptonite, is the terminology he uses. It's literally like, we just, we lose against Zoo a lot of the time. Hailock is a little bit more favorable, but it's still not even... It's still not even a guarantee, so... Uh, either way, though, we are going to stick to our game plan. Uh, we'll figure out very soon what he's doing. This turn, in fact, we'll pretty much figure out what his game plan is, and then we'll decide what to do. So it does look like it is hand lock, which is good. We want to be aggressive early in this matchup. Um, so we're going to go for this. Now we could see a board clear right here, certainly, but if he doesn't, then we're pushing through some pretty big damage for next turn. Because we're gonna throw down, uh, <laughs> it's gonna say we'll throw down Deadly Poison, but I might hold on to those till a little bit later. Just for that extra three damage, I don't see really, yeah, let's not, we're not gonna, yeah, we're not gonna Deadly Poison yet. I mean, I could double Deadly Poison. If I don't attack right now, I could double Deadly Poison next turn. And we could throw a Cold Blood on the Argent Squire. Hey, lights out. I'm gonna skip this turn's attack. We're gonna go with a double Deadly Poison for next turn. Now, the idea is just to go for the face, man. He, he, he might play Twilight Drake right here, but we're just gonna ignore it. We're gonna keep pushing for his face. We've got the Sap. Trying to think here, actually. I'm considering holding off on the attack. But what do we have for damage? Uh, that's five, ten. We could bring him down to two. <sighs> it's taking a chance. This is taking a really, really big chance. Depending on what he has for Molten Giants. Basically. Hey, lights out. Here we go. All right, so does he have a Molten Giant, two Molten Giants and a Taunt Giver? Even one Molten Giant and a Taunt Giver. Actually, one Molten Giant and a Taunt Giver wouldn't necessarily be enough. Okay, there's a heal. And here's... Um, that's not enough. Well, actually... No, that's not enough. We win. <laughs> Holy crap, this deck... What a first game. All right, we're gonna sap that bad boy. We're gonna push through that, and then there's the victory. Well, there you go. That's game number one. And our next game is against a paladin. Now, the rushdown paladin's very annoying for this deck to deal with. I'm trying to think if I just want to push the early game. The SI7 agent would be a while till we play. King Mukla is really just in this match. So you, you want to play King Mulga to an empty board. Wow. Wow. Could not have a worse hand. Honest to God, could not have a worse hand. Double sap. The Blade Flurry is nice in this matchup, certainly. But double sap early game? <laughs> not what you want. And we have no early creatures either, which is very frustrating. Yeah, I am super saddened by see by seeing that in our first few cards. Uh, I'll get over it though. Just give me a second. Okay, now <laughs> I'm over that. Yeah, it's just so disheartening. There's no, there's no other word for it, really. Reporting for duty. So here's my conundrum with this matchup: is that we want to, we certainly want to rush down the opponent. But at the same time, letting those things stay in play gives him potential to pump it up. Kings, Might, Argus, like all sorts of stuff, you know? Okay, so there's his board clear. Hmm. Do I really Blade Flurry right now? Here we go. 
Here we go. I know it's crazy, but since we've got two saps, I'm just gonna sap them. I know it seems crazy, but I really didn't want to use my Blade Flurry that early. Now we've got the potential to combo an SI7 agent. This is such... This guy's just annoying. I'm just annoyed, that's all. Just because the Paladin Zoo gets such a strong board that I want to clear it. But at the same time, I really need to be going for the face. I think I'm just going to let that live. Hey, lights out. Now my fingers are crossed that it doesn't play a Consecrate, basically. The reason I didn't want to sap it yet is because if he pumps it up, I'd prefer to sap it, like, once he gets- Okay, so here's the Consecrate. Reporting for duty. That's good. You know what, actually? I'm just gonna go with this. Here we go. Hey, lights out. And I don't want Arcane Golem right now. Because even if he doesn't have another Consecrate, Avenging Wrath will show its face. So. Plus, I prefer to use this in conjunction with some burst. I really, I actually desperately need a cold light oracle right now. I need to fill up my hand because I don't have much damage in my hand. And Let me he's at 16. I mean, I've just... I've got some damage in play, but not enough. I could play King Mukla, but I'd have to kill this if I do that. Keep him or sacrifice those two. Hey, lights out. Here we go. I mean, I'm thinking either way, if he has a consecrate, I'm sort of SOL. This has a little, slightly better chance at surviving a. Avenging Wrath. This thing has a great chance of surviving Avenging Wrath. Well, I mean, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> but as long as two of them hit me in the face, then he'll be okay. There's a manipulator for the four, two. Oh, and then here comes Consecrate. So he's gonna kill both. He's gonna get a board clear right here. I mean, if he does, if he board clears here, that's the game. Yep. I, need, I desperately need a Colite Oracle or else I'm just completely, yeah. Mind if I roll Here we go. I'm pretty much just, uh, I'm pretty much just dead until I get, until I draw into a Colite Oracle. And then if I, I could potentially draw enough burst, but he's, that big heal that he had may have very well just put him out of range for me killing him. Truth is my shield. Okay. So that's the game right there. We've already used both saps. All right, well, there's a Colet Oracle, but I don't see how this is winnable. Here we go. I have to use an Eviscerate here. So 
we've got 12 damage. He's gonna be up to 18 right now, though. With this next attack. So that means we need another 6 damage. Um, another Shadow Step would do it. <laughs> so long as he gets no more taunts. Follow the rules. This is Peacekeeper to mitigate the damage he takes. Not on my I don't really care about that. So I'm guessing he's attacking into that. Right now I want- oh he doesn't. Right now I want another Coal Light Oracle. It's a Fairy Dragon. And that's game. We're at six. And he's got more than six damage in play. Let's do this. Oh well. GG. Next matchup is against a Warlock. I think I'll hold on to the Deadly Poison in case he's playing Zoo. We can kill a stupid, you know, that thing. <laughs> he can kill his Taunter. If he plays it. Just hope he doesn't play a turn one. Uh, please no Void Walker. Or please no Void Walker! I guess no matter what he plays to turn one, it'll be annoying. Whatever this is, I'm annoyed. It's an Ancient Watcher. Okay, so we're pl playing against Handlock here. Uh, we just need to try to rush him down as much as possible. Plain and simple. Here we go. Job done. Plain and simple. Now, since he played that, he either has a taunt or a silence for it. Otherwise, I don't ex Oh, wow, really? Nothing right now? Okay. Well, coming up, he'll have a taunt or a silence. There's no doubt about that. We've got the shadow step combo, which is good. Don't want to deadly poison now. As he may very well, there's a decent chance he's running an acidic swamp ooze. Next turn, we're gonna see a huge Twilight Drake. That is for certain. That is most certain. And we'll see a big Twilight Drake right now. Or a, uh... We'll find out right now. There's a silence, okay. Now, is he gonna pop off my creatures? Yes, he is. So we just need to continue our rushdown game plan. Uh, what do we have for damage right here? 6, 10, level 12, 13. Wait a second. Oh no, we don't have quite enough at the moment. Yeah, we can't double Leroy right now, and we can't even Leroy Eviscerate. So I'm thinking of just playing this. So many Alright. Let's see if he's got his taunters. He can play free uh, Molten Giants right now, too. He doesn't play some taunts, he is done. Okay, so does he have both of them? My eyes are open. And Defender of Argus. Or excuse me, uh Sunfire Protector. Wow, really? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a bit nuts. I mean we have multiple ways to actually get this victory, but Woo! Oh, buddy. GG. And that's pretty much going to do it for our gameplay video here with the Backspace Rogue. Uh, just a word of warning. I've played a handful of games with this deck now. Uh, it really does struggle against Zoo, and the deck creator himself said that if the meta is heavy mid-range Zoo, just be 
wary and maybe consider running a different deck to be honest with you but against a lot of the other matchups that aren't zoo in mid-range it is a very solid deck to run all right guys that'll do it for today's video thanks so much for watching stay tuned for more hearthstone and other great gaming coverage coming up keep watching and keep owning